best view is always very helpful and uh, the microscope Proveo offers an excellent view all the time in the macula in the periphery. With the microscope Proveo I'm using the biome panoramic viewing system because it allows me to use uh, the in focus intraoperative OCT that uh, we will uh, use in uh, the macular phases of the surgery. So you can see in the new software of the Enfocus OCT, we can split the screen in two halves. Um, on the left side, you see the video. On the right side, you see the OCT. The OCT has a, a new way to automatically focus on the retina image. It's actually looking for the layers with the brightest uh, reflectivity. So sometimes it's not the top of the retina, like in this case, it looks to be the RPE, but we can see the whole retina very well. Okay, so I think there are no epiretinal uh, formations now to make sure. So I think the most uh, amazing advantage of having intraoperative OCT is the beauty of confirmation. So whenever we have a doubt, we can check it immediately, not just relying on what we have seen preoperatively, but we check live. The surgeon can be completely independent with the intraoperative OCT through the foot pedal. I am scanning the area right now. Uh, so the RPE is elevated, I guess. This is where the small CNV is. I prefer to remove it. Yeah, this is it. As you can see, I'm trying to cover all the atrophic areas, most part of the macula. And when I will put back the retina, I will have to make sure that the fovea lead, uh, lays on top of good RPE. Okay, so you can see on the OCT, the nice patch of choroid with uh, choroidal vessels inside. So I think it's looking great, but I want to check with the OCT, of course. So we have to check two main things. First of all, we have to check that we don't have PFCL bubbles between the retina and the choroid, and that we don't have a hole. So let's focus on the intraoperative OCT right now. I want to check, as I was saying, that there are no PFCL bubbles underneath the retina and that there are no holes that I have to treat. So I am scanning myself, moving the vertical and horizontal uh, OCT line through the macular area of interest. You can see the vision through the microscope. Now it's low because of the interface, but the OCT can spectacularly show that the retina is attached. I have some fluid here, which is totally acceptable. It will be reabsorbed, but uh, most of the retina is attached and uh, the flap, uh, sorry, the patch of uh, choroid is looking great. Mm -hmm.